for 20, 25 years now, there's been a lot of pressure on the tropical lowland forests of Indonesia, Malaysia, and Brunei, where there's a big drive to replace the tropical forests with palm oil plantations, paper pulp plantations. What this does is it removes the natural um, canopy cover of the forest and exposes the ground to the sun's rays and it can dry the underlying soil. Another problem is that for access to these sites, to the plantations, uh, the, the companies will often drain the land and when you drain the land, again, you dry out that soil and make it available to burn. Now, the problem with peat soil is that it doesn't burn like a wildfire that you normally see on TV. So if you think of a wildfire, you think of bushfires in Australia or forest fires in the United States. A peat fire smoulders. You don't see any flames. You just see smoke coming out of the ground. One of the main issues associated with these fires is the emissions of greenhouse gases. Now, we know that fires emit carbon dioxide through combustion, but because of the inefficient nature of the combustion, because um, the, the, the fires do not have access to much oxygen because they're burning underground in the soil, we see a lot of emissions of non-carbon dioxide gases. So methane, carbon monoxide, and nitrous oxide, all of which are strong greenhouse gases, especially methane and nitrous oxide. Um, methane is a much stronger greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. If you were to emit one kilogram of methane, it's the equivalent of emitting around about 35 kilograms of carbon dioxide quite serious um, greenhouse gas emissions and that's an important thing to quantify and will have an important influence on global climate. Another major issue that we face with these fires is the immediate and long-term effects on human health. The immediate effects include um, respiratory tract problems and what we're seeing in Indonesia is up to a half a million cases just associated with the fires. These short-term problems are caused by small particles of black carbon in the smoke but also associated with some of the gases that are emitted from these fires. So carbon monoxide can react with other gases in the smoke with sunlight to produce ozone at ground level. Now ozone is uh, bad for human health, it's bad for people who suffer from asthma, it's also bad for um, crops as well and we see a very large and significant reduction in crop production associated with this ozone that is produced downwind of these fires. The longer term health problems include heart disease and cancer and these are caused by long term exposure to gases such as hydrogen cyanide, ammonia and some other hydrocarbons that are contained in the smoke. The animals that live in these forests are also exposed to the smoke and what we see is um, orangutans and Sumatran tigers suffering from similar respiratory problems that we see in humans. In the Department of Geography at King's, we have a whole team of people who are doing research on these fire emissions. We have people who are looking at how much peat is burning, and that's really important if we want to quantify total emissions from these fires. To do that, you can look at satellite imagery and look at the detect the fires from their thermal signatures, which we can detect from space, and that can give us some information about how much peat is burning. But if we want to know what's in the smoke, then we have to go into the field and actually measure the smoke whilst the fires are burning. That's important because if we want to model what future climate is going to look like, then we need to have a really good understanding of what the atmosphere is going to look like in 50 years time, in 100 years time, where these fires are likely to happen and what they are going to contribute to the atmosphere. So that's how this research fits into predicting future climate change. If we can show that the content of the smoke is responsible for both short-term and long-term problems, then hopefully we can demonstrate that it is worth far more to keep the forest as a forest than it is to transform that forest to a palm oil plantation.